show your support. Follow me on Twitter. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome to the first video in a brand new series called One Pound Wonders. Now, there are a lot of things in this world that you used to be able to buy for a pound that you can't now. However, one thing that you can buy for a pound that you never used to be able to buy are games. Video games. Now, obviously not all video games are one pound, otherwise that would be insane. But one thing I did manage to pick up very recently for only one pound is this. Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness. So what are we going to be doing today exactly? Well, I am going to be playing through this game for exactly 30 minutes. And at the end of that 30 minutes, I will be deciding whether this is a £1 wonder or a £1 blunder. So let's begin. Okay, here we are about to begin a new game. I've got 30 minutes on the timer. Let's start that now. Help me, Lara. I need you to get something for me. Go on. I'm tracking five obscura paintings for a client called Eckhart. But he's a psychopath. Why should I care? Because I'm being stalked. People are dying out there. Handle it, Werner. Lara, please. Look, go and see this woman, Carvier. She can help. I'm going. Egypt, Werner. You walked away and left me. Get out! Hello? Ah. It's all getting very dramatic. Music. Okay, so there was no blood on the body, but she's got blood in her hands. Uh, what? One way of getting out of the situation, I suppose. Oh no, you've got no backpack. So dark. Why is it so dark? I suppose it is the angel of darkness. Ooh. Parisian back streets. Okay. So, Guy wanted me to track down some people. This looks like a safe area. But I need to find a way out. Okay. To move around, use the left analog stick. Push forward gently to walk, and all the way forward to run. I literally was just doing that. That bin looks climbable. Is it? Can I have control again, please? Right. How do I climb? To climb the bin, stand next to it and push forward on the left analog stick. Okay. To grab the balcony, walk to the edge of the bin and press the jump button. Then push forward What's on the left the jump analog button? stick to climb up. That's the roll button. So I've got to very carefully walk to the edge of the bin. Nope, there. Oh, I 
okay, yeah. This gap looks easy. To jump it, walk to the edge and stop. Remember, holding the walk button will stop me from falling off. Now press the jump button and push forward on the left analog stick at the same time. Nice. To climb the ladder, stand facing it and press forward on the left analog stick. Oh. So, yeah. Now we go. Right. Cool. To get off, push left on the left analog stick. Maybe I can climb through that window. Walk up to the window and push forwards. <sighs> I think I get the idea by now, game. I'll really? have a look around whilst I'm here. To open drawers and cupboards, stand in front of them and press yes. action. Thanks. God. Don't know what the action button is. Triangle. X. Ah, there we go. Anything in there? A chocolate bar. Why are you opening that drawer? You happen to just know where stuff is, do you, in this flat that's not yours? It looks like I need something to force this open. Oh. Can I move the camera? No. I hate walking towards camera. Ugh. What is that? Uh, so am I am I done here? going to be good when I'm not in a safe area. Why? What are you doing, camera? Stop moving! Why you wouldn't just get off the ladder on your own, I don't know. Gold coin? It just look like bits of bread. Where am I going? Now push forward and jump together. Then press action in mid-air to grab the canopy. Hey? Oh, not good. Oh, that's definitely not good. Okay. Stop screaming. Stop screaming over and over and over again. Wow, that was... What? And it literally... Right, okay. Stupid way of doing it. So because I didn't save the game right at the beginning, it then takes me right the way back to the beginning menu and plays through the same cutscene. It doesn't even get me to the end of the cutscene and load the back streets up. Oh, you're to gonna. Move a wrap. Yeah, you're gonna tell me everything, aren't you? Right. What else is down here? Nothing. Right. Oh, that's where the dogs are, in fact. I would go that way, but I can't see a damn thing. That bin looks. Yep. To climb the. Yep. To grab the balcony. Yep. Shut up. Oh, come on. This gap look oh. now press the jump button. Oh, I did press the jump button. I can't see through the floor. Hello, this camera is rubbish. 
Turn up. Walkie, walkie, walkie. Stop. Right, perfect. Get a bit of a wriggle on climb shall we? That. Yes, yes, shut up. Get up. Yes, shut up. Ah, oh, what? Seriously? Maybe I can climb through that. Maybe you can stop telling me all the things you've already told me that you would know you'd already told I'll me if you didn't make me go all the way back to the beginning of the game. in the cupboard underneath because there's probably nothing in it. Presumably I have to come back to that at a later time. Come on, walk outside. I wonder if I could do this with the... No, I can't do it with the D-pad. Although the movements are clunky as hell, I cannot walk with the D-pad, I have to walk with the nice smooth analogue stick, but I can't make nice smooth clean movements. Because... what? No. Wrong button. Walk forward then. Now push forward and jump together. Then press action in mid-air to grab the canopy. So not going to go well, is it? No, I'm... Jump! Ah! Oh. And then we get her screaming again and again and again. Shut up! Shut up! That is a horrible, horrible noise. This is not going well so far, is it? So she either walks to the edge, jumps in straight line up and doesn't move forward, or she walks to the edge and then just keeps walking and plummets to her death. Hmm. I think what I might try and do... Shut up. Shut up. I might try down here where it's safe. Shut up! Telling me all the same the things again! Right. This gap See, it works easy. here. Now press the jump button and push forward on the left. Oh, and okay. No, I pressed the wrong button there, in fairness. That was my fault. Although, why X isn't jump, I don't know. Who has X as the action button? This kind of thing. Environmental action button is not normally X, it's normally triangle. I press jump! It's getting on my nerves now. Right. Walk to the edge, jump, up. Walk to the edge, no, not run to the edge. I'm barely even pressing the analog stick down either. Right, turn around, walk to the edge. Oh, oh okay, you are at the edge. Yes, slightly. Right. I can do it at that height. There you go. To climb the Shut up. To climb the ladder, try and look at it, but... No. Oh god, you've got to be so precise! Just attach yourself to the ladder! That way. God, it's a good job I haven't got any enemies after me. Bad enough on its to own. Off, push left on the left analog stick. Maybe I can. Yes, maybe you can climb through the window. I'll have it. Shut up. Have a look around. 
See if I care. Find the same things we've already found twice. Chocolate bar and some money and some weird gold things. Whatever they are. Come on. Come on. You don't have to go through the same animation again. Hurry up. Pick it up. Right, let's go. You look like four bread rolls. Climb. Right. Let's see if we can get a little bit further this time. Off we get. See, she walks when I want her to run as well. Okay. The jump to that canopy looks challenging, but I think I can make it. Walk to the edge and start. Walk, walk. Now push forward and jump together. Then press action in mid-air to grab the canopy. No! This is getting absolutely ridiculous now. Can't get any further. Every single time you try and walk, it walks you to the edge and then she keeps walking. Oh, this is so infuriating. And the fact that it doesn't even take you back to the first bit of gameplay as well. I've never known a game do that. But then I suppose to move around, there were no such think... thing as auto saves or... It just seems ridiculous that it makes you go all the way back to the... the... Shut up. To climb... Go back all the way to, to the first the... Um, menu screen every single time. This Oh, now talking at me. No, wrong button, that was me. Stop pressing X to jump, because it's not X, it's circle for, you know, reasons. What are you doing? What are you doing? Turn around. Turn around. Climb, climb. Walk to the edge. See, it does it on a lower level, fine. I haven't... To climb the, ladder, the only time I've easy. messed that bit up is where I've accidentally ladder. pressed the wrong button. To get off, push left on the left analog stick. You can kind of control the camera with the right analog stick, but not Maybe I can climb through very nicely. Do you know what? I'm not even going to go through there. I don't care what's in there. I'm for speed's sake. Go on. Climby, climby, climby kangaroo down sport. Right, fourth time lucky. Now push forward and jump. No. Climb up. The jump to that canopy looks challenging. Shut up. Walk very carefully. No, do not run. Right, ready? Ah, oh. just doesn't jump. Just carries on walking to the edge. Yes. Let me exit. For the 50 millionth time. At least that's what it feels like. God. It's starting to feel like I've been ripped off here. So much gameplay. So much story. Absolutely insane. Hurry up and load the same bit that you've loaded 40 billion times already. Shut up talking at me. Shut up. Hmm. 
Okay, that was a quick way up there. Climb up then. Climb up. Up. Gap. Now press. Why are you not jumping now? I'm actually pressing the jump button. God, the controls are terrible! Walk to the edge. Jump. Jump! Have you just got a phobia of jumping now? Because you know what's coming. You know that I'm going to climb you right up to the top of the building and then you're going to plummet to your death. And you're sick of it. Jump! Ah. Losing the will to live here. Climb. Why are you now not doing it? You were doing it earlier. What are you doing? Jump up. So you don't have to be particularly precise with that bit. Right, walk to the edge. What? Climb up. Up. Walk to the edge. Now you're not jumping at all. Thank God the new Tomb Raiders don't play like this. That's all I'm going to say. Right, walk to the edge. What? Ugh! Jump! For God's sake, jump! This is getting absolutely ridiculous now. Right. Jump. Up. Up. Go up. Walk to the edge. Jump. Give up. I really give up now. Facing the ladder, grab all. To get off, push left on the left analog stick. Maybe I can climb through. No, that. you can't climb through that window. That's not a thing. Get on the climb up the climbing ladder. That canopy looks challenging, but I think I can make it. I don't what think do you can make it. Can Walk. Walk. Now push forward and jump together. Then press action in mid-air to grab the canopy. This is slowly eating away at my soul, bit by bit by bit. <sighs> Another new game. Two days earlier, Parisian back streets. How many times is this now? Six? Seven? I've actually lost count of how many times she's plummeted to her death. To move around. That 
bin looks climbable. Oh, that looks quite cool when you do to that. To climb the bin, stand. Go on, jump onto the bin. No, sideways. To grab the balcony. Right. This gap looks easy. I'm not to even up here. yet. To walk to the end. Now press. Oh, we're going to be doing this again, are we? I don't want to jump because I know what you're going to do. You're going to make me die. Fine. Walkie, walkie, walkie. Ah, there is a bit of a. To climb the ladder. It is ever so slight time delay with that. I'm gonna try that then. Oh, climb up the. Mm. Climb, climb. Thank you. To get off, push left on the left analog stick. How do I get off this ride of playing Maybe this game? No, you can't go through the window. There's nothing there for you, Lara, through that window, apart from safety. The jump to that camp. Now push forward and jump together. Ah! Why did she jump sideways? I only pressed it once. <laughs> okay, we've got new exotic ways of jumping to our death now at the top of this ladder top of this building whatever I feel like I'm in a very short version of Groundhog Day where I'm just replaying the same about three minutes of my life again and again and again and again Ah, oh, please let it end soon. To move around. Three guesses what I'm going to say about this to game. Climb. To grab the belt. Shut up. This gap. Now press the jump button. Yeah, see, there is a slight. If you press. To climb the ladder, stand facing it. Those bits earlier where I was kind of failing to climb repeatedly it's because I was trying to press them at exactly the same time but it seems better to press jump and then forward just after Come on, come on, come on Jump to walk to the edge. Ah. Now push forward and jump together. Then press. Oh, you are joking! Well, at least I didn't die. Grab the canopy and let go. Oh no. Come on. I'll class this as a success if I can just get over this. Can't believe I'm getting a second chance to climb up. Didn't die in one go, although I half died. I don't know why, because it still fell from the same height. Come on, grab the, grab the ladder, grab the ladder.
No. Oh. One time I've managed to make the jump and I let go when I get to the end because I press the action button like the game told me to press the action button in midair. So I did but by the time that was actually pressed I'd already jumped all the way over to the other side and then I let go because I pressed the action button. So I didn't actually need the action button until I got to the other side. Don't care about what happened. This looks like a right. That bin the Shut up. To shut up. To grab the balcony, walk to the edge of the bin and press the jump. Oh -ho. Then push forward on the left analog stick to climb up. And that is the end of our 30 minutes. And it couldn't have come soon enough. Wow. All I can say is wow. Definitely a one pound blunder. The story of the game might be really, really interesting. And I have heard rumour that it is quite dark and surprising and full of mystery. But you can't even play through the first about five minutes of the game because the controls are absolutely abysmal. Please do yourself a favour and if you're vaguely interested in the story of this game, catch a YouTube video of somebody else suffering getting through the horrible bits of gameplay just so that you can see what the actual story is. But in terms of playing it, don't even bother. Till next time, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.